a certain time. Yeah, it might. And I'm Becky, and we're here on the Schooner Fame with Captain Mike. Captain Mike. He's going to give us a little uh, talk about what the ship is. Absolutely. Okay. So this boat is the Schooner Fame. She is was built 20 years ago. She's a replica of a boat that was built in 1810. And these kinds of boats were very common, actually, in 1810. They would use them for fishing, mostly for codfish, uh, but also sometimes jigging for mackerel. Uh, but that's not why the original fame was famous. She was famous because when the War of 1812 broke out. So we're going to push that tiller to the left. We want the boat to go to the right. So push the tiller to the left. When the war broke out in 1812, it put everybody in Salem out of work. And so a bunch of out of work sea captains basically pooled their money and bought this little schooner and said, well, we need to support our families. Yeah. And the big trading ships like the friendship that you saw back at the park service, those boats aren't going anywhere. Mm -hmm. So let's go out as privateers. So they took this fishing schooner and they turned it into a privateer. And when the war broke out, they took her up to... Back to the right. Exactly. They took her up to British Canada. They took her up to New Brunswick. And on the 4th of July, 1812, when the war had just started, they actually captured the first two prizes of the war. They captured a shipment of brig, much bigger vessels than the Fame, but, you know, the war had just started, so they just had small peacetime crews on board. Mm -hmm. And the Fame had 25 bloodthirsty Salem sea <laughs> Yep, see it. And they captured those boats and brought them back to sea. Cool. Thank you, Captain Mike. I'm enjoying our sail. <laughs> and a um, little bit of history of seafaring in Salem. You guys got bye, Becky? We're having too much fun. Yep. We'll talk to you next time. Are we ready? Yeah. Haul away. Okay. Heave ho! <laughs> oh no, is someone dropped the rope? No, what the heck? What is this system? <laughs> 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 Got it. <laughs> so we're going in circles because one of the sails is not. We'll know who to blame. Under sail. All right. Good job. Watch your head. Looking good. You're almost there, guys. This is a group participation boat. <laughs> Brian, you're done. Oh, Brian is done. Big pull on the throat. One more. That's well. Oh, good. Nice job. Yeah, woo! Outstanding. <laughs> woo! Redemption. And we're here with Captain Mike <laughs> showing showing us how to do it all. And this is where Erica almost single handedly raises a sail. <laughs> Not just a pretty face.
all the money. Exactly. Uh, you know what? They would not use. That's what we say about Eric. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they did use these cannons to fire itty bitty cannonballs. So it's really not like a tiny cannon. What it really is is a big shot. That's how they use these things. They would load them up to the muzzle with like BBs, you know, shrapnel, gravel, other ships. But the goal is, is they, what they want to do is they want to capture the ship, right? They're privateers. They want to capture the ship, and they, since they want to sail the ship back to the city, sell it. They can't damage it so badly. So they don't want to be in a cannon battle with the big cannon. What they want to do is intimidate the other crew into surrendering. So that's the reason behind the big shotguns. And they would have had probably two or three of these on either side of them. And they would uh, get really close. They'd let them have the shotguns and they'd literally climb on board the other vessel and try to capture by board. You guys ever seen like, not the Johnny Depp pirate movies, but like the old ones with Earl Flynn? The guys are like climbing up the rigging with knife in their teeth and swinging over onto the boat and like fighting hand to hand. Hey, That's Johnny Depp did that in his movie too. <laughs> I remember some people with the knife in their teeth. In the Johnny Depp movies, they also sail around, pick out a good one, and blast each other with these giant cannons for a short range, which is pretty counterproductive if you're hoping to sell the ship and sell the car. That would be a shock. This is the weapon of the private. Alright guys, we got a loaded cannon and the uh, the other schooner in Salem has decided to challenge us this evening. So we're gonna blast them to smithereens. Okay. How, how do we know that they, that we've been challenged? Before we do, I'd just like to explain, I know I've, I've talked to some of you guys about this already, but the reason we have the cannon is that this boat, which you might not be aware of, is a replica of a, a boat called the Fame that was built in 1810. Built for fishing. But then when the War of 1812 broke out and all the captains in Salem were out of work, a group of them got together and bought this little schooner and decided to go privateering. So they cleaned out the fish guts and they put these cannon on board. And as I was just saying to these folks, they, did, they had bigger cannon, but they did not want to use them because the goal of privateering, which is like legal piracy, was to capture vessels which you would bring back to a friendly port prove that they were enemy property, but then you could sell the ship, the cargo, and everything on board for whatever the market would bear. But since you had to sail these captured vessels hundreds, maybe thousands of miles before you could get paid, it was very important not to damage them. So they wouldn't want to use the big cannons. They would, they would have two or three of these swivel guns loaded up like shotguns. They would use them at very close range against the other vessels, uh, which is we're going to be at very close range against these guys. <laughs> I should fire soon. You guys might not want to sit this close. Honestly. It's going to be loud, and I'm going to give you a countdown of three, two, yeah. one, fire Sleep. in the hole. So were they aiming at people or the boat? <laughs> You're aiming at people. That's okay. We'll watch. Do they have one? Sorry. All right, guys. We're ready. Do you strike? Three, two. One, fire in the hole! Break right your colors! <laughs> yeah. Strike your colors, we'll shoot again! Looking good, guys. <laughs> Seem to have missed them, Captain Mike. I think it went right between the foresail and the main <laughs> Yeah. I did see a hole. <laughs> So that's Marblehead, there, right? Okay, see you guys later, bye. <laughs>